Welcome to the Steventown Veterans Memorial Park. This year we are, we are honoring the uh, Revolutionary War soldiers. In short, the first army of the United States, known as the Continental Army. Our first veterans, a tradition of sacrifice for freedom that has endured over 250 years. And that brings us full circle to today, where we honor, we celebrate, the great treasure the U.S. has, our veterans. And so as a beneficiary of two and a half centuries of sacrifice by our American service members, I'd like to say to all of you, all of our vets, thank you. Heavenly Father, creator of us all, we stand before you today with thanks and praise as we honor those who have served our country, both in time of peace and of war. You know, it's something to be here today in a time when our country feels so divided, I couldn't be more blessed and think how grateful I am and all of us are to live in the country that we do. If not for them, if not for them saying, you are not gonna rule over us, England, we are gonna be self-determination here, we're gonna do it our way, this country wouldn't be here. If England had won, it'd be a whole different, whole different thing. But they stood up, they stood strong, and I think that's a, a lesson for all of us. Much was given so that this country could remain free. These individuals that we honor today did just that. And a bright shining beacon on a hill. We must all remember, and this is one way that we do that, never forget our history, our valor, our service. I'm gonna talk about the elephant in the room, the election that's taking place. I believe if any of our revolutionary veterans could see it, would say, how amazing. People arguing without fighting and killing about how to run a country. That's what they fought for. Not to be told how to do it, but to allow us to decide how to do it. During 2020, we lost three fellow veterans and local residents who were critical to the establishment of this Steventown Veterans Organization and this park that you enjoy today. Tom McVeigh, Frank Bailey, and Joe Bruno. I do want to introduce a couple of people real quick um, from the William G. Pomeroy Foundation. With us here today is one of his relatives, stepdaughter uh, Karen and her, her husband Chris and their daughter Lily are here from East Greenbush and I thank you very much for coming and joining with us today. And don't think that for a second this is the end of this process. We're really still asking people to come forward with names of people that you might think or know that were Revolutionary War veterans that could be added to these particular markers and to the, uh, the list that we have on the back of your program. So I'm gonna turn the program over to Pat and she's gonna tell us a little bit more about the markers and how we're gonna unveil them. This all started back in 2009 when I was with the Historical Society. Well, I still am, but uh, that was before I became town historian. They developed a cemetery committee, and the cemetery committee was going down, going around and locating all the abandoned cemeteries, cleaning them, trying to get the, the words to show on the gravestones, which a lot of them did not show. We had special chemicals to clear them up. And my cemetery committee consists of Dave Cummings, Linda Sullivan, Marilyn Osgood, along with David Flint and myself. I would like to have those people help uncover the markers when it's time. 
We also had Boy Scout groups, especially David Kursamagi, who lived here in Steventown at the time, and they cleaned up the Denison Cemetery, which is up on East Road. We also would like to thank the landowners for giving us permission to allow us to put these roadside markers because if they hadn't given us the permission, we wouldn't be able to do this. Also, I want to thank the veterans of Steventown for all that they have done today to make this park available. The Saratoga Battle Chapter is also here with their cannon, and they will be giving a demonstration at the end of the program if anybody wants to stay. It really has been a blessing that we got six total markers. Also, I want to thank David Powell from East Syracuse for putting me on track to do this. Paula Miller from the executive director and Chrissy Filler from the W.G. Pomeroy Foundation for their help and their assistance, especially my husband David who helped with all the research and had patience with me when I got real frustrated. Most of all, I want to thank you William G. Pomeroy for making the grants available. Steventown loves you. Thank you. Here we go. Yay. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the glory of this day, for the work of many people to honor and remember our Revolutionary War patriots. We ask that anyone who sees these signs along the road, in a park, anywhere, remember that they are but the beginning of the heroes of the United States of America. The Pomeroy Foundation, we want to thank them for the signs. William Bill Pomeroy of Syracuse is a 16-year SAR. To our town officers, we want to thank. To our highway department, they're going to install these wonderful signs. Now, what is the SAR? Like the DAR, we are a service organization. Our mission is to participate in patriotic and educational programs. We focus on celebrating our freedom by remembering our past. We work to protect our historic sites and artifacts from the Revolutionary War period. Oh, beautiful for spacious skies, for amber waves of grain, for purple mountains' majesty, above the fruited plain, America, America, God shed his grace on thee and crown thy good with brotherhood from sea to shining sea.